The Lego Movie in 2014 was such a huge hit, and Batman in particular was memorable. Why was he the best choice to follow on from that and have his very own movie, Dan? For us, we wanted to tell different stories using the Lego format, and so the first Lego movie was a cult adventure movie told in a Lego way. We said, you know what, let's do the superhero genre, and that's Lego Batman. People just loved Will Arnett's take on the character. There have been so many great Batman stories, but it's a very distinct take. We really, Will doesn't take it seriously as far as the comedy goes. He really has a lot of fun with it, but at the same time, he does take the emotion really seriously. I think that's what's so special with this Lego Batman movie is that people will be surprised that they're gonna be laughing all the way with Will, but in the third act, they'll be surprised that they're really feeling something. We're hoping that people will tear up and because he really goes on an emotional journey through this movie. And um, speaking of Will, he's a brilliant comedic actor, Chris, and I believe he improvised a lot on the Lego movie. Um, to what extent was he let loose again with the character for this one? Uh, yeah, Will uh, constantly improvised uh, on, on both movies. Uh, and I think, you know, for me, it w uh, to not uh, allow him to do that and, and create an environment where he you know, can feel free to, to do that was, uh, you know, it's really important and any, any, any filmmaker would be a fool not to let him kind of run, you know, wild or Zach or Michael Sarah Rosario, they're all really great improvisational actors. And so uh, uh, we wanted to create an environment where, yeah, where they could just kind of have fun. And I, to me, that's what, uh, you know, translates onto the, onto the movie. You know, you really feel when, when when they're allowed to, when all the actors are allowed to have fun and kind of make, kind of take ownership of the characters and and the story. Uh, uh, I think that that makes the movie better. I think you see that and you feel that on the screen. Ray Fiennes as Alfred and Siri as. Batman's computer voice is inspired casting. Um, and you've also got Mariah Carey in there as well. How delighted were you with the impressive voice cast for this one? We just love it. You know, it's really, we just have so much fun. Again, it's how do you subvert people's expectations? I think Mariah, Mariah Carey, even Hector Alonso as her mm. uh, the father, the police commissioner, just they're just fantastic. Add real diversity in the mix. I think with every one of our characters, just really unique take on these characters. You know, we had really f a lot of fun with Liam Neeson in the first movie playing good cop, bad cop, and taking a serious actor who's really funny as well. And I think Chris did a great job with Ray Fiennes, where people take him as a serious, important actor, and he is. But also there's a really funny side as well, really sense of dry humor. Yeah, he's, he's a lot of fun to, to work with. And we had all the actors do their own um, gun noises, pew-pews and that sort of thing. <laughs> Um, and uh, having uh, Rafe do, uh, not only did he come in and just do the pew pews, but he asked for his own uh, take two so that he could do the kinds of noises he used to do as a kid. And when you see him do some of that stuff in the movie, that's, and it sounds like sound effects, but it's actually him doing the uh, Gatling gun noises. Uh, and it's, it's kind of amazing. I love those pew pews, by the way. <laughs> They're brilliant. Um, the film looks like actual Lego bricks coming to life. There's an incredible amount of detail in there. Chris, just how technically difficult is it to make a Lego movie? Um, it, well, you know, making animated movies is, is hard. And I, uh, and I think with, for this kind of movie, how especially how quickly we turned it around, I think that's probably what's, what's the most difficult is to... And, and, Trying to get the story right, trying to make sure that the that you're making a, a movie that's that's worth watching. I think um, those those things were where we spent a lot of our time. Um, fortunately, we've got a really great crew in Sydney, and uh, and really dedicated technical people, uh, and a really amazing production designer in Grant Freckleton, uh, who supervised the entire process and um, helped you know make it a lot easier than it would have been because he's just. The way a lot of these guys think, they're just they're really focused on just creating really beautiful images and streamlining the process, um, and they're open to to my to me being able to be flexible with the story in order to you know get the movie out as quickly as we did. It's just a great partnership between the filmmakers and also uh, the Lego company because you want to be able to build all these yeah. vehicles and play sets out of real bricks, and and kids want to see the movie and be able to build these and play afterwards. So. It's really great kind of collaboration design between a, a, an amazing toy company and an amazing team that we have in Australia. Yeah, because I think that one of the hardest things is that we don't cheat, you know, and in any of the builds that we don't, we don't, we don't. So you you can build this stuff if you add an, an infinite amount of bricks and time. 
uh, Chris and Dan, thank you very much. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.